So I just went into the hot springs and now I'm walking over to these ancient ruins. I've been wanting to go back to the ancient ruins for a while now. So today's a good day for this. It's a holiday today. So I'm just going to take allow myself to go out on a trip with myself. Taking myself on a trip. And uh, I feel better after I went in the hot water. I'll probably go in again. I feel like kind of like surrendered. I'm still crying. I feel like I have to, the more I talk about it, the more I let it outside of myself. And it's like a release for me. It allows me to release it. And, uh, Look at this, it's so pretty here. I feel like this, like, like a bubble of pain coming up. And then sometimes when I'm just walking through and I'm looking at nature, I just see like, oh, I'm free again. I feel like this, wow, I'm free. I'm free. Like this, uh, I'm free. I don't have to chase anymore. I don't have to try to find. I don't. There's like a release in it. I want to connect to that feeling. I'm just getting glimpses of it now, of the release. Glimpses like, okay, you're free. You can do what you want. You you don't have to chase anymore. This energy is like gone. But then I, it's like I'm flipping back and forth in between the energies. I think that pure freedom will be <laughs> pure freedom will be when I empower myself, when I bring all my energy back to myself and I do something for myself and get some of my own projects going and when I feel free of completely free of the need to chase or completely free because I can feel that in this that I'm not going to see him for a while. I know it. I know it. I can feel it that our paths aren't going to cross for a while. It's going to give me time to heal from this. I can feel it. Oh, there's a path this way too. I'll go this path. I have never gone this path. No, I'm going to go my regular path. I'll show you where I'm at. Those are the ancient runes. There's, see all that down there is water there. They, you guys, this way. Doggies, come in. I just feel like... And I, you know, like when you sigh and your whole body just goes limp, that's kind of what I feel like, limp, just kind of, uh. look at this. This is all hot waters coming out of the ground. We're in the African, Syri Syrian African uh, rift here. It's like a split in the, in the earth, the biggest, the biggest split there is. And that's why there's hot water, sulfury water coming up from out of the ground. The Sea of Galilee sits on it. The Dead Sea sits on it. It goes all the way down the Jordan Valley. Uh, look at this ancient, ancient spring. Look at that. Look at that. That is just so magnificent. I'll just show you where I'm going into just so you can see. See, there's another one. Ancient Roman bath. Beautiful. So, that's where I am this morning. I'm overcoming this. And uh, bringing my strength back to myself. I guess that this twin flame crap. I'm so tired of it.
beautiful. I'm so tired of it. And I'm starting to question myself, like, is it even real? Is it something I'm making up in my mind? And I even, you know, like, when I try to take it apart with my, with my mind and try to think, what is the pull in it? Why can't I just get over this? I've been wanting to get over it for months. Why can't I just freaking get over it? Why have I been holding out some kind of hope? Even when he says, you know, I see people on the other side of me in relationships with me. Like, why can't I see those patterns and apply them onto myself? And I think that with him doing this, uh, you know, it's like he made the decision for me. And it's going to be easier, hopefully. You know, there's also... I don't even, you know, it doesn't even, I don't even care about feeling of rejection. That's not, it's not even part of it. Who cares? So you feel rejected. So what? What is that? I mean, that's nothing. That's just emotions. It's the feeling of loss. It's almost like I'm, I lost a part of myself. Okay. This is like a like I entered into a complete new reality. And it's just like this gaping hole like all of a sudden something that was there so dominant and prominent in my life is just gone and it's like I have to grasp it. I'm trying to grasp a hold of like the concept because it's like every 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 few minutes, it's and it's not even in in conscious thought. It's an emotion. Like you feel like, oh, there's somebody there, but they're not there anymore. They're just gone. And I'm the only one left, and no other relationship in my life can fill that void. So I'm gonna have to fill it on my own. So there's nowhere to run to. It's like it's not like I can go to somewhere and get like. Uh, you know, I can go and I can get a hug and I can get reassurance, but the work is mine to do. Okay, well, I'm ending this here.